In a primetime news follow-up, a promise this evening by the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, to visit a sand mining pit in St. Elizabeth. It's a source of worry for residents who argue that it is being overmined. We have the details in this report. From roads to housing, the country has seen a major construction boom in recent times. And so the demand for material like sand is high, which takes us to this spot in Fort Charles, St. Elizabeth, a sand pit which has been mined for years. From our checks, it is a legal area for sand mining, but there are concerns about overuse. So deep the miners have dug that we observed uprooted trees, Lots of them. Martel Bryan is a resident of the area. Minus 20. That's 60 feet below sea level, you know. He's been tracking the depth of what he describes as the destruction of the sand bed. In addition to the use of his GPS, he's also been speaking to the persons loading the trucks. Mr. Bryan spoke of a recent conversation. He tells me that he's given no direction as to where to mine. He just, he just given the, the green light to mine anywhere. Mr. Bryan argues that communities close to where the mining has been taking place are at risk of being wiped out in the event of a tsunami. That's because, according to him, the natural barrier has been compromised. In fact, in the distance, you can hear very clearly the waves crashing on the seashore. The erosion there is also glaring. Parity, Slipe, Vineyard, Arlington. Surrounding areas, hilltop, will be washed away. We brought the issue to the attention of the mayor of Black River, Derek Sangster. The sand is being used mainly for construction purposes island-wide because, as I understand it, trucks from all over come to purchase sand from the mine. And it's also used on road um, works, which, you know, from time to time, laying of pipes, each sand is used and so on. But it is all taking place within legal framework. So what of concerns about overmining? I'm going to have a look at it and if it needs be calling the relevant authorities to have a look and assess the situation. When we contacted the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, we were also told that a site visit is being organized for the area.